Babylon can't stop this campaign. campaign. Rampage, guess I know why the heat's a rage. Cause the guys be bringing it out. We bringing this it kingdom, out. we bringing it down. down. Lost sheep, we'd have been found. found. Wait until we get a crown. Crown talk. Yeah. Just that crown talk. Yeah. Nehemiah don't want to be like Nino Brown now. Nah. Cause this that king talk. Nah. Real life king talk. Nah. Like Solomon, I see things clearly like a greenhouse. The wordplay can't get colorful. The scriptures cutting you the to butter too. Not to mention we a living legend. Don't know what to do when a myth is standing right in front of you. You better watch and just take notes. The father sent the flood then a rainbow, but his son coming back with fire, so it ain't gonna be no more scapegoats. Let me tell you what the prophecy, unparalleled with the prophecies, stopping fritz bodies in the street. My people property in this monopoly. Call it America, where the dreams come true, where nightmares and the demons come true. The side of my agenda I don't give a damn if you offended Cause this He's righteous kid If you a wicked woman You gonna raise a wicked daughter Cause she learned through your example And we ain't picking on you We trying to show you How people should not be acting up The way they acting this day in 2019 Go back to uh, 1 Peter 3 and 3. We teach our people in the Bible what we must do to get salvation. And let's keep God's commandments. Do y'all agree with that? You agree with that? Read that out. The book of 2 Peter, chapter 3 and verse 3. Verse 3. Read. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days. In the last days, in the latter time, what? we Scoffers. Scoffers walking after their own lust. You walk after your own lust. You don't walk after the ways of God. We don't walk after the ways of Christ. If I ask y'all a question right there, bro, coming back. What are the ways of Jesus? Do you know? We don't want to know. Do you want to know? Read that again. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days. In the last days, the latter days, 2019, 2020, we scoffers, scoffers, we walking after their own luck and saying, where is the promise of his coming? You say, where the promise of Jesus? Christ ain't coming back. Living our ways all this time in wickedness, even in white man Jesus, even in our oppression. Christ Jesus ain't coming back. We're gonna live our life like this for another hundred years. When is the time of Jesus coming, Reed? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were. Ever since we came over here in slavery, everything continue as it was. You think everything got good? good. Read. Everything continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. For this they willing or ignorant of that by the word of God we say for this they are willingly ignorant our people are willingly ignorant read that again for this for this they willingly or ignorant you are willingly ignorant not to amend your ways not to learn who you are and what you must do so we're preaching salvation we're preaching the ways of God right here at the Bible when the last time you seen young black men with the Bible standing strong for the word of God our people want to be popping, working, taking, nothing against God, making everything all good. We lost like hell, man. We. For this willingly are ignorant that by the word of God, heavens were a old, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water. He going into the time of Noah. When everything was out, was with Noah, he was building the ark. The same thing was going on. They were scoffing, laughing, mocking him. But God said in these times right now, it's going to be the exact same way. Read. Whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished. The world that was overflowed with water, he talking about when he destroyed the world with water. Bring it out. But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word. By the same way he destroyed Noah with the flood, by the same word, the same word. Bible, the same scriptures we teaching right now, read. By the same word are kept in store, reserved unto the fire against the day of judgment. You reserved unto the fire unto the day of judgment. You reserved unto the fire of the day of judgment, read. And the perdition of ungodly men. But beloved, be not ignorant. They say, 
Be not ignorant of this. You think everything all good. Jump down to verse 10. We're going to see how the day of the Lord going to return. Verse 10. But the, the book of 2 Peter chapter 3 and verse 10. Come on. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. How the day of the Lord going to come? Will come as a thief in the night. When you think everything all good, that's when the day of the Lord going to come. When you and your security think everything all good, I believe in Jesus, and you ain't keeping commandment one, that's when the day of the Lord going to come, Read. And which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. Boom! When World War III pop off, when Russia sent the bombs over here, when Iran, Korea start warring against America, that's when the World War III gonna pop off and a black man, black woman ain't gonna be able to do nothing about it. We're gonna be lost in the south thinking everything all good. We trying to teach the ways of repentance, trying to show you the way back to salvation through keeping God commandments. Pull your pants up. Telling the black man to stop being wicked. Pull his pants up. Be a man. Marry a black woman. But we don't want to do that. But it start with you knowing who you are first. But our people do not want to know who they are. What's wrong with that? Nothing. Ain't nothing wrong with us coming out here preaching the Bible. The Bible say the ways to be a man is keeping God commandments. First Kings two and two. We're going to show you what real men look like. Real men stand up for the word of God. That's what real men look like. First Kings 2 and 2. Read. The book of First Kings, chapter 2 and verse 2. Come on. I go the way of the earth, of all the earth. Be therefore strong, there, be thou strong therefore, and show thyself a man. This is King David telling Solomon, be strong and show yourself a man. If I ask these two young brothers, what do it take to be a man? What would you tell me what it takes to be a man? Could you tell me what it takes to be a man? Come, come to ask, come show me. Come here. You say it takes God to be a man. What did God tell us to do to be a man? Come right here, bro. Come, cut right through there. What did God tell us to do? What it takes to be a man? Cut right here for me. He died on the cross for us. You right? He did die on the cross for us. What's your name? Read. We're going to show you what the Bible said about being a man. Because we think being a man is what? Having a lot of women. Come around front, bro. Having a lot of money. Is that being a man? Hey, young man. Come right here. Come right here. Is that talk being a man? Okay. Go right there and talk to him. Don't talk to him. Is that being a man? Having a lot of women? No. Is it being a man if you have a whole bunch of money that make you a man? No. So what make you a man? What make us men? Can I show you real fast? Can I show you what God said? About, all right, let's, we're going to read the Bible, the King James Version Bible, what God said about being a man. Read. The book of 1 Kings, chapter 2 and verse 2. What's your name, bro? Jamarcus. I'm Lavi. Nice to meet you. This your brother? All right. Jamarcus, what's your brother's name? Kadarius. Nice to meet you. I'm Lavi. We're going to see what the Bible says it takes to be a man. Read. Verse 2. I go the way of all the earth. Be thou strong, therefore, and show thyself a man. He says, show thyself a man, Jamarcus, right? Show thyself a man. And keep the charge of the Lord thy God to walk in all his ways. So what does it mean to be a man? He said to walk in what? All his ways. That's exactly right. Read. To keep. His statutes. To keep his statutes. That make us a man. Read. And his commandments. And his what? And his what? He said by keeping God commandments, that make us men. Because the man should say, you know what? I'm not going to steal. Right? I'm not going to kill. That's the commandments, right? Do you know God's commandments? Not all of you know some of them? Which ones do you know? That should not steal. It say no other gods before me, right? Right, you believe that? Okay, let's go to when he said no other gods before me. Is this is this God right here? Is that Jesus? What are you gonna read about Jesus at? What the Bible? So why would they make Jesus look like this when the Bible don't say he looked like that? Why would they make Jesus look like this when the Bible say he does not look like that? It's you don't know how you you don't know how you looking to win. But do you know God left a record of how he looks in this Bible? Can I show you that? You, you, I, I got you. Revelation 1.14. God left a record of how his son looks. Jesus walked on the earth, right? He died on the cross, right? So he did he have to have a body? You know, I, I need you to get this. Don't run from it. So one second before you go. Did Jesus Christ have a body? Yes or no? Did Jesus Christ have a body? He had a coat. So what body, what form, what was his body? What did it look like? Let's see. Read. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 14. This is the truth. Read. His head 
and his hairs were white like wool. So Jesus Christ's head and hairs were white like wool. The texture of wool. Who has woolly hair? Who has the texture of woolly hair? Kinky hair. Hey, that's what y'all got. Nappy hair. Who has that texture of hair? Read. Let's read on. Think about it while you thinking I'm going to read on. As white as snow. Yeah, it was fully gray. You ever seen an old man with gray hair? You have, right? That's how Jesus Christ had look. Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. So do this right here. Got woolly hair and red eyes. Do that right there. Got woolly hair and red eyes. Do that right there. Got woolly hair and red eyes. No, it don't. But that's the picture they give us, right? So let's keep reading. And his feet like a fine brass. What color is brass? Brass. What color is brass? They know over there. They don't want to say it. What color is brass? Like a brass trumpet? What color is brass? B gold. Gold, right? He say, read it again. His feet? And his feet was like unto fine brass. Jesus Christ feet like unto fine brass. As if, as if, as the same gold brown, they were burned in a furnace. Take that same gold brown and burn it, what color is going to come out? Black. That's right. The description of Jesus Christ is being is as a black man in the Bible. So why would they show you this description? They showed you a lot from day one. But yet we go with anything they show us, right? But we come out here and show you in the Bible, right? We showed you that in the Bible. Read. And his voice, the sound of many water. And Jesus Christ had a loud speaking voice. Like we got here with a microphone. Jesus didn't need no microphone. He was a loud speaking black man with dark skin. You didn't know that, did you? Now you know. So anybody tell anything about Jesus, be like, hey, show me that in the Bible. Show me. That, cause that's what I did. My daddy a preacher. You got to roll? Go ahead. Do your thing, man. Do your thing. All right, bro. What's your name in the blue, bro? There it is. Remember that, man. We just went over the image of Jesus Christ. We just went over the image of Jesus Christ in the Bible. And it's so simple, we know we get it. But we reject the word of God. You heard that over there, bro. I know you heard that. Jesus Christ was a black man according to the Bible. That's the truth. We speaking the truth. It ain't no hate speech. It is all fact. Scripture we just read. This is not the image of the Messiah. Don't be scared of that, brother. Don't be scared of that. You heard me, bro? Do not be scared of the truth. Give me Song of Solomon 1, verse 5. Because people think color not in the Bible. Song of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 5. We read scripture, but guess what? They scared of scripture. They scared of the truth. Y'all smiling and laughing, but we know you hear this. Our history is Bible history. Black history is Bible history. Read it out. The book of Songs of Solomon, chapter 1 and verse 5. King James Version Bible, same one your grandma got, you never read. Read. I am black. What did King Solomon just say? I am black. But comely, O ye daughters of Jerusalem. King Solomon just said he is black. B-L-A-C-K. Guess what? In the new King James Version, they take that word black out. That's why we got self-hate to one another. That's why we got uh, self-hate to ourselves. That's why we see other people doing good. We want to hate on one another. God said Jesus Christ was a black man. King Solomon said himself, I am black. Read it again. The book of Sons of Solomon, chapter 1 and verse 5. Come on. I am black. What did King Solomon just say? I am black, but comely. Meaning I am black and handsome, read. O ye daughters of Jerusalem. Because King Solomon was the wisest king to ever live. He said, I am dark and handsome. Black people love to say I'm black and beautiful. It's in the Bible. Yes, black woman, it's in the Bible. It's in the Bible. Read it again. I am black, but come. But we love to envy the ways of our oppressor. Perm in your hair, put blonde in your hair. God calls the children of Israel, and he wants to follow his ways. That's what God say. Matthew 19, 16. But we know y'all rebellious as hell. Don't want to do what the Bible say do. Our people just don't want to do what the Bible say do. Matthew 19, 16. If I ask anybody who go to church on Sunday and act, I ask you how I get the kingdom of heaven, well, how we get the kingdom of heaven, what we got to do, bro? But let's see what the Bible say. Read. The book of Matthew, chapter 19, and verse 16. And behold, one came unto him. Good master, what good things shall I do that I may have eternal life? Eternal life. 
And he said unto them, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one. But God, if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandment. He said, If you want to enter into life, keep the commandments. We the Israelites, we gotta come back to keeping God's commandments, bro. That's who we are, that's who we be. We ain't African American, we ain't black, we ain't Negro, we ain't no Muslims up here. We true Christians of the Bible. That's right. We the real Christians. Because the word Christian, Acts 11, 26. Christian is a follower of Christ. The 12 disciples were called Christians first. They follow what Christ said. Everybody who claim, I hear claiming to be a Christian, you are not no Christian. You are in wickedness and idolatry. You ain't no Christian. Yeah, I told you to your face. You ain't no Christian. Acts 11, 26. Read. The book of Acts, chapter 11, and verse 26. I'm mean, looking crazy. I said it. You ain't no Christian if you're not keeping God's commandments. Read. And when he had found him, he brought him. 11 and 26. Read on. He brought him to Antioch. And it came to pass that the whole year they assembled themselves with the church and taught much people. And the disciples were called Christians. Who was called Christians? The disciple. Disciple means student follower of Christ. That's what disciple means. They called the disciples. And disciples were called Christians at Antioch. They called the disciples Christians because they did what Christ said do. They called the disciple Christians. So if you ain't doing what Christ said do, you ain't no Christian. Hang it up. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.